Hey guys, this is Matt with 4hydroponics.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at fulvic and humic acids. We're going to be talking about the differences between the two, how to best use them, and some of the benefits of using them. So first up, we're going to talk about the differences between fulvic acid and humic acid. Uh, keep in mind that humic acid um, is uh, the main part of humus. Um, it's found all over nature. Um, and basically, it's such a complex, diverse group of um, configurations, I guess you could say, of molecules um, and acids, basically, um, that they don't really like to try to differentiate between fulvic and humic too much. Um, they just pretty much blanket term it as humic acids because they're, they actually had use an analogy like a snowflake. There are that many different forms of humic and fulvic acids, all that pretty much do the same thing under the same umbrella. Um, so keep that in mind when you're reading about them and looking up uh, which one is which. Um, that a lot of times they'll just be labeled as humics when they might be fulvic. For instance, this is full power. It says humic acid, but it is the cleaner, more fulvic uh, acid of the two. Um, the reason that is, is when they make the fulvic acid, um, the top layer is going to be the more clear area, which is, which is where the fulvic acid comes from. The bottom layer of the vat is going to be a little bit darker, um, and that's where the humic acid comes from. Um, humic acid um, is a more complex, um, and it actually ends up binding to more metals that act as uh, minerals in the soil, um, which is why in the powdered form, you'll see mostly humic acid versus fulvic acid, and that's because this works great as a soil conditioner. Um, not only does it make nutrients more available, but it puts some nutrients in there. Um, humic acid consists mostly of carbon and oxygen, along with a little bit of phosphorus, nitrogen, and sulfur. Um, so once again, great for a soil conditioner. Um, so humic acid, because it has those extra minerals and nutrients in them, it will adjust your parts per million. Um, if you're running a system where you're trying to keep your parts per million in a certain range, and you add this to your regime, you will notice that this is increased is your parts per million. The fulvic acid does not. It does not bind to the metals like that does with, during the process of making it. So it doesn't give you that same parts per million boost, um, but it still makes nutrients really readily available. Um, great to add into any nutrient line, organic, synthetic. Um, if you are running synthetics and you're adding this, keep your eye out for any kind of little tip burn. Uh, and then you might want to just back off on your base nutrients, which is great because you'll save money on your base nutrients. If you can just add one bottle and cut back your nutrients by 25%, it can save you a lot of money and uh, also time and energy. Um, they also make a different couple of different products that are powdered, humics that are mixed with different stuff. This is just one of them that comes with seaweed and micronutrients. They make them with just micronutrients. Um, and that is the idea behind that is, once again, a soil conditioner. Um, if this has just got the humics and the benefits of humics, they add a little bit more with the seaweed um, on this one here. Um, and then also added micronutrients. Um, and so uh, also keep in mind that if you're running a hydro system and you're choosing one, the humic acid will change the color of your water to a darker tinge and it also could give your roots a darker tinge which some people are definitely don't uh, like. So you might find yourself using more of the, the fulvic versions um, when you are picking one out. Um, the BioAg company makes the amazing fulvic and humic acids. Um, they're one of our favorite products. Um, we sell a ton of them here and they make it a little different. Uh, most cheaper, you know, maybe or just more cost effective, you could say, versions of making a humic acid or fulvic acid is going to be through Leonardite. Um, that's the basis for it. Um, these guys actually use an oyster shell, um, and they do a very natural digestive way of separating everything out and turning it from that last little form completely down into an acid, letting it break down from basically a humus down into a, an acid form. Um, and so they do that naturally. Um, and because of it, we see the benefits, um, and it's nice they're using a little bit higher quality um, starting products. Um, these products can be used in foliar sprays as well. I really like to use them in a foliar spray to make whatever you're mixing in there more available. Plants are great at taking nutrients up through the leaves, but this makes it even simpler on them. Um, fulvic acid and humic acid as well, but mostly fulvic, uh, is known for having very low molecular weight, which allows nutrient molecules to pretty much piggyback on the back of it as it gets absorbed into the plant um, or into the leaf tissue, um, or I'm sorry, into the root or into leaf tissue. So, um, but yeah, if you're looking for a one part um, additive to add to something that you're really comfortable with using and you want to see if you can just add one thing to just increase some of your overall quality, um, especially with those you know, genetics that are more sensitive to micronutrient deficiencies, um, these powdered ones are a great way to add it to your soil without skyrocketing any of your parts per million. Um, so keep that in mind when you're picking them out. Um, I hope this video helped you out, explained a little bit more about uh, fulvic and humic acids and uh, when to use them and how to use them. Uh, all this stuff's available at 4hydroponics.com, so uh, come check us out.